Today we're going to show you how to install a Boston bracket on your Brompton. Both the older style fixed chainring and the newer style spider chainring. Cast your mind back some time ago we took the Boston brackets out of a couple of our Bromptons and turned them into grown up balance bikes. And it appears that some people have also been waiting for quite a long time for us to make this video. We are going to install our fixed crank set on our older style Brompton because we want to keep it as original as possible. And we're going to use a new frame to install our spider style crank set. We're going to install the bottom bracket and crank set on the old bike and then do the same on the new bike. And we'll put timestamps in the description so you can look at which one you're interested in. Don't skip yet. This is important and is relevant to both types of bottom bracket. The bottom bracket has two ends, a long end and a short end. The long end goes into the drive side of the crank set. The short end goes into the non-drive side and the bottom bracket cup is removable. Once the crank set's off, it's a really good opportunity to clean the bike properly because you haven't got the crank set in the way. Before we install the bottom bracket, we're going to grease the bottom bracket shell so that sometime in the future we can actually get it out. For this, I'm just going to use a good quality grease and paint some on the inside. I'm also going to do the other side, the drive side. This FAG bottom bracket has six notches. It's pretty standard on older Bromptons and it uses a tool like this one, the BBT4, that fits the notches perfectly. Now I'm going to remove the non-drive side cup and pop the bottom bracket in from the drive side. You need to remember that it does up the wrong way, so lefty tighty rather than lefty loosey. But before I start tightening it, I'm going to turn it the wrong way to get it to seat into the threads. Then I will start trying to do it up. Just starting to do it up by hand. So now I'm going to use my tool. You need to use two hands when you're using the tool to try and keep it aligned so that you don't damage the bottom bracket. You just need to continue doing it up until it won't go any further. And the bottom bracket is flush with the frame. So now it's time to install the non-drive side bottom bracket cup. Remembering it is done up righty tighty. So I'm just gonna do it a bit by hand and then I'm going to go and get my tool. Now I'm going to do it up with my tool. Like the other side, it kind of is a two-handed operation. So now the non-drive side cup is all done up and I have a lovely smooth bottom bracket. But before I ride, I need to reinstall my trusty old cranks with my slightly rusty bolts using this awesome tool. That is a CCW5. So I'm going to start with the drive side. Uh, it's kind of as simple as putting it on the bottom bracket, getting my bolt, and screwing my bolt into my bottom bracket. Don't worry, I have greased the bolt before I put it in because I would like to get them out again. For maximum leverage, push down on both the tool and the crank. Now I'm just going to pop the chain back on this side. Nice! But there still seems to be something missing, which is my non-drive side crank arm. So now I'm going to install the non-drive side crank. The one thing to remember is that you want it at 90 degrees from the other crank so that you're not trying to pedal with them both in the same direction. That would be rubbish. So my drive side crank is downwards. So my non-drive side crank needs to be upwards. The same as last time, I put the crank on and then I start doing it up with the bolt. And finally, I do it up with my CCW5. So now it's getting a bit tight. I'm going to do it so that I can push down because it's easier. And finally, I can put in my little black caps to cover the bolts on both sides. And now I'm going to take my bike out for a test ride. Much better than a balance bike. 
Next up, I'm going to install my spider crank set with my JAS bottom bracket, or the newer style bottom, Brompton bottom bracket. But I'm not going to use the Brompton bottom bracket. I'm going to use a Shimano equivalent because it's got a metal body so that if my tool slips during installation, I'm not going to mash it. I'm going to start off by greasing the bottom bracket shell on both sides. I'm then going to install my bottom bracket. So now I'm going to install my bottom bracket starting from the drive side, which remembering does up the wrong way. So I'll just tighten it slightly right to get it to fall in place and then start tightening it lefty tighty. It's much easier than the plastic bottom bracket. I've got a lot further without having to resort to using a tool, which is actually making it a lot quicker. Now I think I need a tool. So I'm using a BBT 22. It's a 22 spline tool. So now I'm going to do the final tighten. And I can see there's no gap between the bottom bracket and the frame. So now I'm going to do the non-drive side, remembering that this does up the right way. So right tighty. I can start by hand, but it, is, it suddenly becomes too difficult. So I need a tool. So I can continue. And now I need some leverage. It's really nice and plush with the frame. And now all I need to do is put my cranks on. Remembering that you want them at 180 degrees from each other so you can pedal. I need to do the bolt up. This will hold them in pulp. These both do up to the right, righty tighty. And now I'm going to do the drive side. And now I can tighten them up with my CCW5. One last turn, I think. I think that's tight enough. And now I'm going to take my hobby horse out for a little gallop. If you like this video about how to install a bottom bracket and crank set on your Brompton or your Brompton frame, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. Apparently, people have been waiting for a little bit of... No. We're going to try and make it simple, so we're going to do the old bit. We're going to try and make it simple, so we're going to install the crank set. No, we're not going to install the crank set. And the short side, where the bottom bracket cup, cup comes up and the short side would you like a close up next up I'm going to try next up I'm going to install my spider crank set with my JS standard no it's a JS standard bottom bracket so it's now the time for the drive side no it's not the drive side you idiot by the time you've finished, you're going to have sore fingers and possibly have mashed the bottom bracket a little bit. Unless, of course, you're better at it than I am, because this has been really hard work.